Hello my YouTube friends, it's Lisa Joy Young and as some of you know a while back I entered Anna Arthur 81's contest for collaboration and I'm so excited because I was one of the winners for an individual collaboration with her. So this is the video that we are doing together. So the theme we decided on was like a gothic doll kind of theme. So she's going to be doing a gothic rag doll and here's her look. And I'm going to be doing a zombie rag doll, which is what I'll be showing you in a couple of minutes. So if you haven't had a chance to check out Anna Arthur 81's channel and haven't subscribed, definitely shoot over there and check it out because if you like the kinds of things I do, you're definitely going to like what she does. She is completely amazing. She does tons of special effects work and what's even more awesome about it is that she makes most of her own prosthetics and she does stuff with her hair and she um, makes a lot of latex prosthetics herself or like her face and anyway she's absolutely incredible you've got to check her out because her channel is amazing Alright, so let's go ahead and get started, uh, but first, I've actually had a few questions as to why I don't wash off my makeup before I start painting on my face, and the reason why, in case you're wondering, is because the, the paint covers up the makeup just fine, so that's not really a problem, and also, um, the makeup adds a good barrier between my skin and the paint so that I don't have any problem washing it off. There's no residue, there's no staining, because my makeup protects it from all of that, so that's why. So I'm taking a little bit of white on a sponge and you have to really resist the impulse to make this perfect. You want to make it messy and splotchy because zombie skin is gross looking and splotchy. So you want to give it that effect. So we're going to highlight kind of the shape of like a skull. So I'm going to go around my eyes like this. So I'm going to do two circles right around my eyes. All right, now I'm just going to bring the white up uh, like in a curved motion on both sides here and then a splotch of white right in the center and then just kind of fade that out a little bit on each side of there. to make sure to get it nice and uh, white under my eyes because we're going to kind of extend the size of my eyes to make them appear more doll-like. Okay, so now I have some brown. This is Wolf Brothers Brown. This is Diamond Effects White. I mixed them together to make a, a light colored brown. I have that on my sponge and I'm going to just start doing some low lighting um, to give this some more depth. So we're just going to go around the outside of this um, a uh, circle area to make it look more circular and like the bones here are kind of popping out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put some more of that brown in the temple right here. And then right under the cheekbone area. Okay, so now I'm taking a little bit of black, just a little bit, so it doesn't overpower um, the design. And I'm gonna do some further shading. So right on the edge right here, you just kind of pull it in and create texture by pulling your brush in, or your sponge in like that, and pounce it harder on the edge to make the color the most intense there. And I have just a little bit of yellow on my sponge and I'm going to kind of put um, patches of yellow here and there just to make it look more sick. Okay, so I got a lot of the base done now. I'm just going to go in and um, add a little bit more shadows um, around a couple parts. So, so 
play a little with the brush and then drag it down and that just adds um, more precise color placement. Okay, so I put a little extra white right under my eyes and I'm gonna get started on um, the doll eyes now. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just outline the bottom section of my eye. So um, I'm gonna start here and just make a really rounded shape. Okay, so now I'm going to do the stitched up mouth and I'm going to start by getting some blood red. And remember that um, blood isn't bright red, it's like a dark red. So you're going to want to put some blue, if you don't have like a dark maroon red, put some blue in with your red. So I'm going to start kind of thick and then end thin like that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black and shade that in. And I'm going to do some nasty looking stitches going this way and that way. I'm just making really haphazard. guys so I'm done here's the completed look got some fake blood zombified hair and a tattered shirt so I'm all done up all right well thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you liked it I thought this was a pretty nasty and fun look to do so thanks again to Anna Arthur for doing this uh, collab with me it was so fun to do so I will see you in the next tutorial bye everyone